Hello, African Rises. Welcome to the number one platform for celebrating and cultivating African excellence. On today's episode, we learn from Africa's youngest billionaire, Mohamed Diweji. He is a Tanzanian billionaire with a net worth of over $1.9 billion. Known for his unmatched work ethic of working over 100 hours per week, he has managed to amass his fortune by heading one of the most successful companies in Africa, the Metal Group, which has investments in manufacturing, agriculture, trading, finance, mobile, insurance, real estate, transport, logistics, food, and beverages. The group currently conducts business in 11 countries and employs over 28,000 people. Let's hear Mohammed's tips on how to think like the top 1%. Tip number one, a healthy body is a healthy mind. A healthy body is a healthy mind. I think it is very, very important. Uh, and you can go to the gym, you can run, but it's, you need to exercise, you need to sweat. You can even play sports, you know. Uh, it takes your mind away from the real world. You can think, et cetera, et cetera. So I think it is very, very important. So what I do is that, that uh, I sacrifice my mornings. Uh, now I don't anymore, so I have picked the lunch time. Uh, and, and I make sure it is, you know, religious, uh, that even if I'm feeling down, and many a times because I start so early, by the time it's 12, 1 o'clock, you've already clocked in seven, seven and a half hours. And when I go out to the gym and I come back and I run five, seven, eight kilometers every day and I work, I do light weights. I, I don't want to be a, what, a, uh, a big guy, but, but I, I, <laughs> whenever I come out of the gym, I feel so good. I feel like I'm just like, you know, my, my, the new day has started, you know? So I always encourage. And you know, this, it's, it's very important that, that this habit has to be formed uh, from a young age, whether it is healthy eating or, you know, exercise, you need to do it from now. Don't think that, you know, yes, you have a high metabolism today. I don't need to. I'm okay, you know, when I'm 40. Uh, and then you develop these bad habits, and then you just never go to the gym. So for those that think, you know, you know, when you look at someone who's gained a lot of weight, and you're like, you know, how the hell that happened? But let's look at it from a math perspective, right? I mean, if you gain one kilo in a year, right? I mean, you won't notice it, right? Would you notice it? One kilo? No, right? Now imagine 1 times 15. <laughs> Serious business, eh? <laughs> Tip number two. Wealth is a step-by-step -step process. Life is tough, you know, to be successful. Mm -hmm. uh, you, can't, you can't get onto an elevator or an escalator. Uh, it's a step-by-step -step process. Mm -hmm. You need to climb the stairs. So you need to be vigilant. You need to be very hardworking. It's very competitive out there. You need to be disciplined. Uh, you need to be ethical. And credibility is very, very important. So if you focus on these things, that, that, that success won't come very quickly, but, but, but it's a journey, uh, then I'm telling you there's nothing that can stop you. Africa has a huge potential. One. Tanzania is even bigger potential. I mean, if you look at the six out of the 10 fastest growing economies, are in Africa, in the world. I mean, the world economies, I read, say that the world economy is growing at 1.7, 1.8%. The African continent is growing at 4.8%, and Tanzania is growing at 7%. So wherever you touch, there is money. So you are in the right time, at the right place. That's one thing. Two, you need to be highly disciplined. You know, uh, you cannot have success without working hard. And success or becoming wealthy is not about, you know, uh, it doesn't happen overnight. It's a block by block process. Uh, it's like, you know, climbing the stairs. There's no taking an elevator in this process. So I, 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 I would urge the youth to, to, to be very patient, to be very ethical, you know, to work very hard. And uh, with God's will, you know, I think that the success lies ahead of them. Tip 
Number three, do not increase your standard of living. So, 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 so one of the advices that I was given that, you know, as you get wealthier, uh, do not uh, increase your standard of living, rather increase your standard of giving. Uh, I believe life is very, very short. And uh, when we die, we're all going to be accountable of what impact that we have made in this world. And so I've decided uh, to do more philanthropy while I'm young. Mm -hmm. And many a times people ask me a question that uh, why you just turned 40, you're 42, and uh, you decided to give away half your wealth. Um, uh, mm -hmm. It's because, you know, and nobody knows how old you're going to live to be. I mean, there are people that are lucky to be 80, but anything can happen mm -hmm. at any time. So. Tip number four, do good. God gives you wealth, you know, uh, you should share it. You are an ambassador and our religion says that also. Uh, life is short, you know, uh, this is, uh, I don't believe in Darwinism or Big Bang Theory. I believe in hell and heaven. I believe that every soul will taste death. And when you die, you're going to be accountable for what you've done and what difference that you've made. Now, I'm not going to leave all these crazy amounts of money for my children. I will leave some money for them and the rest they have to work for themselves. But a chunk of my money will go for humanitarian purposes and to be able to help people. So I just believe in accountability and, and, and finally satisfaction. You know, when you do good, you feel better about it. Tip number five, be very committed. You know, it, 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 you know, nothing comes easy in life. Huh? You have to really, really work hard. Uh, so, of course, I believe you need to be very committed in what you want. Then you need to have discipline. You know, then you need to work on a transparency and an ethical way to be able to succeed. So I feel these are the, 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 the characteristics that have made me where I am today. Credibility when you say something or when you deal with the bank or when you make a commitment you have to stand by to it then whether you're making money or you're losing money and it's like our religion in islam you know when you give your word before you even sign a contract your word is your word so i think that these are the the, the areas where when i reflect back that these are the principles fundamentals that i've stood by that have got me where i am today with the grace of god and there you have it, Mohammed Deja's top 5 tips on how to think like the top 1%. Thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to our channel and comment below on your favorite tip. Remember to follow us on our Instagram page and continue to spread the spirit of excellence. See you next time on African Rises.